Hi YouTube, it's Jilly Jelly Beans. Um, just came back from the hairdressers. Um, wasn't very pleased. I do like the hairstyle. Um, this is the new hairstyle. You saw the before yesterday. This is the after. Um, after uh, me complaining, as you can see, I still have color, but it's not as bright and light, which I like a lot better because it blends with my skin tone. I believe it does anyway. I like these highlights. See, you can see she did a way better job. The highlights on top are on point, I think. But she did not style it well, so when I came home, I basically had to fix it myself. Um, I did go to beauty school myself. That's why I'm so picky, and I know that people can do like better jobs, and I just think that she did a really crappy job. She basically shit it on my head. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. You know, I, I don't know if any of you heard that expression before, but, um, you know, I like when someone makes love to my head, you know, and, you know, basically, when you make love to someone, you know, the, you take your time, you, you start off touching and kissing, and you know, you know the rest. So, I feel as though she just gave me a wham bam thanking me him the first time, and I had to go and confront her about it. So, um, you know, she did a good job on the color. I'm very, very, very happy with the color. The color is like blondish reddish and it really brings out my natural, um, you know, my features in my face and, and, you know, blends with my skin and my eye color, which is like brown. I don't know if you can see, like, really like, like a lightish brown in the sun, but it's like darker when they get adjusted to the sunlight. So, um, you know. <sighs> But I had to come home and I had to flat iron it for one, then blow dry it a little bit more because she didn't fully dry it and then I flat ironed it again so I made all this come towards my face and that's what I like. I like it like, you know, whatever. And the bangs, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the bangs, it's like a, a more of a sweep to cover my, old, my whole head. I have a big forehead so I like to cover my big forehead. <laughs> But to everyone out there, I just wanted to give you an update. I've been doing the shakes. I had a salad for lunch, which I don't know if I'm supposed to do that or whatever. But, I mean, I was out and I forgot to take a shake with me. So I had a salad at McDonald's with my son, which, um, you know, I did have a little bit of chicken on the salad. And I feel really bad, but at least it was a salad and not a Big Mac like I've been craving. So, I mean, I think I'm doing okay. I, I see that I lost. I mean, you can see... In my face a little but you know in the past week I, I've lost a little bit of weight I mean I can tell I don't know if anyone else can but um and I can definitely tell by my um pants you know I don't think I lost more than 10 pounds give or take a few but at least I lost something to get me you know on the on the ball and to get me started to give me a jump start and uh <clears throat> oh my god I can't even believe it my surgery is in like a week and a half and I'm thinking that my surgery is like two weeks. I'm like bugging over here. I didn't even realize how soon it is. I just hope and pray that my liver gets down to the size where it's supposed to be so that my doctor can lift it up and, 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 and you know, get in there and not have to open me up, open me up. I'm really hoping and praying. So for those of you, you know, who believe in God, even those who don't really believe in God, please just say a prayer for me that everything goes okay because I'm wicked, wicked scared. I know I'm not showing it like that, but... Hey, I don't know. I'm really, really shooken up and scared, and like I have this big fear, like that I'm gonna die and all this other stuff. And I know that I'm like probably being over dramatic, but I don't know. Um. So I am. I I feel more confident now with this hair. I don't want to boast about it too much, but. <clears throat> you know, let me know what you think. Tell me your opinions. And um, but even so, even if you guys like it or whatever, the fact that I had to pay for one 165 bucks, right, and that's including a discount. So imagine how much more it would be. Then on top of that, I had to walk around on Thanksgiving like with crazy looking hair. Like, okay, my hair was okay, but you know, a lot of my friends that are used to me getting it hooked up or whatever, they're like. You know, Jillian, why is your hair so light? Like, that's not you. It doesn't go with your skin. And, you know, I like when people are honest. You know what I mean? And it, I'm not taking it to offense at all that they would say something like that. But 
I, I like I said I like the way that this blends with my skin more and I'm very fair skinned I'm, I'm not like I don't have a tan or anything I, I am Italian but I don't really tan like that maybe that's just because I'm so fat <laughs> Oh man, I can't even believe I just said that, but I'm thinking maybe if I lose weight I'll tan better because I don't think the sun hits me that well being so fat. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but um, yeah, so I, I don't know, you know, I, let me get back to the to what I was saying, like I paid 165 bucks, so let me get to the point. So I get home, I have to go through all this time with, the, you know, I had to wait, Saturday I was supposed to go, but I couldn't get a babysitter, so I ended up just taking my son with me to the salon, he was pretty good, he... he he sat there and behaved or whatever, and so I rescheduled from Saturday to now. So I was like, forget that. I can't get a babysitter. Everyone's working. Everyone's busy, you know, today. So, and and I don't have to work. So let me just take the time to to get it done today. So you know, I can get it over with or whatever. So I took him, and I liked it. But like I said, I had to go through the whole of fixing it. I had to go leave the salon. You know, after the salon, I took my son out. So I'm walking around with look with. with what what looked like a mop head um I wasn't you know I just wasn't feeling really confident at all very confident at all with that haircut I'm like oh god she messed it up again so I came home and I'm like let me not you know sit there and, 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 and judge before I you know try to do something about it I don't want to assume because if I assume I'm make an ass out of myself you know and, and it's why I went home and I did my little you know expertise thing you know I'm not I'm not a certified hairdresser, but I did go to hair school and I do know certain things. And I wish I could just cut my own hair, cause you know how like you just, I don't know. I just, I just wish that she could have took the time and effort to do it. She didn't have any customers today, but I think it looks a lot better than you know it did before, and it looks a lot. I should, I should have actually before I fixed it showed you before I fixed it how it looked. That's what I should have did, and then showed you the after when I fixed it, but. Oh well, I can do that anyway. I guess um, maybe tomorrow or something I'll do it and I'll let you see the cut before I hook it up and and see if um you guys still like it after that. But um yeah. So anyway, enough about my hair. Um, what else went on today so far? It's a beautiful day in Boston, Massachusetts. So I think I'm gonna take my son to the park and let him run around. I just wanted to come home and make a quick vlog and um you know fix my hair because I was feeling really really inconfident or whatever you want to call it insecure um yeah so <laughs> I'm so nervous <laughs> um these damn things I'm telling you they always pop up but um anyway have a good rest of the day if it's nice where you are try to get out and enjoy it cause you know the winter is coming and Jack Frost is not playing um, that's why I want to move to Cali so bad. I'm gonna move to Cali. I'm telling you, I'm gonna write my book and I'm moving to Cali. Peace to everyone in in, in New England. <laughs> Just joking. But um, all right, guys, have a nice day. I'll probably make another vlog tonight after I get my little man ready for bed and go to bed and stuff. I just don't like, like I said, you know, before I don't really like leaving him alone for too long because when he's quiet, I worry. <laughs> So let me go see what he's doing and um, get him ready to go to the park. I know I'll be excited about that because he was such a good boy and he sat there. I had to reprimand him a few times, but anyway, I'm just rambling on. I know I'm probably getting boring, so bye. God bless.